a new hit, mate, right there. Mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> Take out the low end. Mushrooms. What's up, guys? It's Will from EDM Tips. Today, I'm going to show you how to make side trance in the style of infected mushroom and Vini Vici. So I don't usually make side trance. I haven't done it for decades, probably. But I got loads of requests from you guys in the comments of my other video. So that is what we are going to do today. We will be covering the kick and the bass line and all of the percussive elements. We will be covering the synths. The mix down, bus processing, and a little bit of arrangement too. You can download the project files for free below this video, so don't forget to do that. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set the tempo. So I've set this to 138, about 138 or 140 is perfect for side trance. And then I've just started an audio track, I've loaded an audio track, and then I've loaded in a kick sample, and it sounds a bit like this. So really punchy, not too distorted, you know, a real punching kick, and that's perfect. So I'm just going to repeat that over all of the bars. Oh, by the way, this is called Psyche Hat Trick. <laughs> okay, I've copied too many there, so let's just do this. Now I can loop this. Here's our kick. You know, nice bit of high end, lots of low end as well here. And we are going to base this track on whichever key that this kick is in, because it's easier to do that. So let's just open up this EQ. And if we go over the big bump, which is the fundamental frequency, we can see it says here, right here, it's A. So that is the track. That is the key of the track that we are going to make today. Okay, next, the all important bass. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to have a bass and then I'm going to make a sub bass separately. So I'm going to actually use, you'd think that you'd use a synth for this, but I'm actually going to use a sample. And that's because there are so many bass notes in quick succession that you want each one to be perfectly the same. And this is when using a sample is a, a great idea. So I'm just going to load in a simpler, and then I'm going to go to some bass sounds. Let's see. I will go to my Vengeance bass sounds because I really like this ultimate bass C pack. And it's very easy to quickly scroll through different samples when you've actually programmed it in as well, which is a bonus. OK, let's do it. So we are just going to write a bass note on every 16th and we are doing this in A because that's the key of our track. So let's... Like this, every 16th. But what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to miss the first one. Oh no, I'm not. I'm actually going to drop it in volume by holding, um, taking the velocity down, which is assigned to the volume. And that is so the kick can breathe through a bit without completely having no bass on the kick at all. Um, so let's just copy and paste that. OK, before we uh, choose the sound, we are going to adjust the shape slightly. So take the release fully off. Make sure there's only one voice playing at once because you don't want different bass notes kind of overlapping each other. It gets messy. Then we're going to take the sustain down and the decay to make it really kind of short and sharp. Cool. Next, we are going to change this simpler into a sampler. And the reason being, we can use the um, filter envelope in the sampler and the simpler doesn't have it. So let's have a listen. And that's, this works in the same way as the amplitude envelope, but we are going to uh, do it for the filter. So the filter is closing off really quickly. resonance. So this is with the filter off and on. So it's not much of a difference, but it's enough. But I want these notes to be even tighter. So I'm actually going to just shorten them a little bit. I'm selecting them all, then I'll drag them across a little bit. And 
and then I'm going to increase the release a tiny bit so it doesn't click. Nice and tight. Okay, let's just um, audition a couple of other samples. Uh, no, wrong one. It's here, we want it. Okay, I actually prefer the one we started with, so that's good. For some reason, I must have undone what I had done on the release. So now let's duplicate that and then make the sub bass. And the way I'm going to do that, you could do it with a sample, but I'm actually going to use a simple synthesizer. I'm going to, you, to use the operator, which is a workhorse in Ableton. And let's have a listen to that on its own. I'm going to have to drop it an octave and I'll have to make sure tweak the decay and release and then we can mix that in with our mid bass or our normal bass but I'm just going to take out some of the low frequencies of the normal bass so it doesn't clash with the sub bass. Now we can boost up this sub bass. Maybe I'll need a little bit more sustain on that. Beefy, nice. And I'm just going to tweak this um, mid bass a little bit, give it a bit of a boost. So it's kind of popping through the mix a tiny bit more because the bass is so important with uh, this genre of music. So I'm just going to color those really quickly and then it's Bosch onto the next thing. Sub bass done, normal bass done. In fact, we could, I'll just um, label them, color them, and. I might, add, oh, this is going to be a great tip, actually. We really need to focus on getting this kick and this bass working well before moving on to anything else, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some width, some stereo width to this bass. And I've got this uh, frequency splitter because I wanted to do this just with Ableton plugins this time. So I've got this frequency that one of my viewers, one of you guys sent me, and it, all it does is split the signal using these multiband compressors into three ways. So let's just listen to it on the bass. Just the high, just the mid, and just the low. So what I'm going to do is on the mid one, I am going to add, okay, this isn't the this isn't with Ableton this plugin, but it is completely free, so you can download it. Uh, it's the Ozone Imager. You can get it from their website, it's completely free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, but only on the mid channel of this frequency splitter. So let's drag it in there. And now I'm going to stereoize it and add some width. I test in mono to make sure it sounds good. This is how I test in mono, by the way. I've got a keyboard shortcut that switches this utility from um, 100% mono to normal stereo and I have that on the master channel. So with the sub bass and with the kick. Whoa, we're getting there already. Nice. Okay, on to the next thing, the clap. So actually it's probably more likely a snare in this genre. So I'm just going to put drums and I'm going to whack on a drum rack. Let's see. And I'm going to draw out a midi clip drums drumity drum 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 right now let's have a quick look for a snare i'm going to listen to some trusty old vengeance snares and we need something really short and kind of sharp
that might work. It's kind of a clap snare. So let's just drag that in. And I want to make sure that it finishes when I program it to finish. So I'm going to ch change release to zero and then just program them in. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good sound for this genre actually. Really cuts through nicely. And I'm going to add a little skip at the end on the last eighth, I think it is. I might layer that with a little clap actually. Just to give it a bit more snap. There we go, I'll layer it with that. Just program that in. We want it to be hitting at exactly the same time though because this is a really kind of tight genre. Cool, okay, right, that was quick, wasn't it? On to the next thing, that would be the drums, we want some kind of tom, like it's all about go getting into a trance. That's what the genre is about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tom drums and I'm going to program a little, little loop, loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'll go to drum hits, toms. Those are cool. Just going to drag those in. I'm using all the Vengeance samples today, like some old ones as well, but you know, they're good, they get the job done. Now I'm gonna draw program in a little loop on the, oh, okay. The velocity is really sh low on all of those because I had changed it before when I was playing with the bass. So I'm just gonna turn those all up and then I will, I'll start kind of mixing them in again. I like to have a bit more uh, of the velocity available to use if I want to. So I'm going to put those up to about 100. And now let's just mix these in very quickly. Okay, now let's program in that Tom drum track. Nice. Oh, they're still really blimming low. That's better. Okay. And it's going to be really repetitive and that's absolutely fine because we want to get that trancey feeling. So let's just copy and paste those. Cool, and I'm going to do one really cool trick actually. I'm going to load in another one. I'm going to go from simpler to sampler and I'm going to reverse it. And I'm going to make sure that I've got release set to zero and decay. Uh, sorry, just release set to zero and sustain to full. So it only plays where, where I've drawn it in and it stops where the MIDI note ends. So it's just kind of gives it a bit more interest with that reverse. A bit louder. That's cool. Listen to that interplay of rhythms. Cool, okay, next is get a loop on the go because we need the hi-hats and all that stuff. But I'm actually gonna add a bit more of a bleepy loop to give it more texture. And for this, I am actually gonna use a loop. I'm gonna use splice for this. So I'm just gonna call it uh, Tom Loop. 
and let Tom Loom. Yeah, let's call it Tom Loom because that makes perfect sense. OK, let's open up Splice, my trusted tool. I have no affiliation, but it's very good for finding samples quickly. Uh, it just costs a few bucks a month and I like it. OK, so here's some I downloaded earlier. But I OK, so I found these by going on Splice, writing in Psytrance and then clicking on one of the packs. I clicked on the Black Octopus pack because Black Octopus always have really good stuff. And then I just filtered through until I found a top loop. So it's really easy, really quick. So I'm going to drag that in now. And it's 140 BPM, but our track is 138. So just click in whichever door you're in and make sure that it's all warped correctly. So it's going to be in time with the rest of our tune. And let's just take it down to zero, then bring it in as we need as we need it. So it's just to add a little bit of kind of background uh, interest. And then we need the main hat loop and I'm going to use another loop for this. And then I'm going to augment it with a MIDI open hat augmenting. Everyone needs to augment. Simple, you know, hi hats, simple 16th, lovely job. Um, let's just bring that in. So you can really hear we're getting the groove going now. So the next thing to do is to stop saying so and then load in a hi hat. So I will go into we, we want something that's very short. That's quite cool. And it's about finding textures that will fit with the other sounds that you've already got going on. So again, you can um, program them in and then hot loop, sorry, hot swap mode until you find a sample that you like. That's why having these big banks is quite useful. I, I really like these vengeance packs. I've had them for years. But there are, there are other ones available that are equally good. Cool. OK, next thing we're going to do is what's on my magic list today? We are going to add some interest. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you my auxiliary channel. So I've got a room reverb and that's just a normal reverb, but a short decay time. And I filtered out everything under about 120 because we don't really want we don't really want bass in the reverb because it muddies up the mix. And then I've got a hall reverb which is the same affair, but just a much longer decay time. Because we need lots of uh, reverb when it comes to Psy trance. OK, let's add a little bit of this reverb to some of our drums, the whole reverb. So what you can do is you can click R in Ableton and then you can create a return chain and just assign that to your global auxiliary channels. And then when you turn off and then press send, I can turn off those IO routing stuff. Now you can see I've got the re uh, I've got the auxiliary channels I can control on each, on each separate drum here. So let's have a quick listen to the drums, see if there any need any. I'm actually going to boost the reverb with a utility because they're really quiet, the Ableton reverbs. So I'll just boost it by 10 and then I, I'll dial less in in my drum rack. I actually like it quite dry. That's that gives it a nice tight side trance feeling. OK, I'm going to do a tiny bit of work on these toms. So what I'm going to do, if 
fact, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to add some interesting little kind of rhythmic bits to keep stuff fresh. So again, I'm going to go into my drums and I wanted to show you every stage of this. So I know, you know, it's painstaking, but guess what? Music production is painstaking. If you hadn't already figured you get faster with more practice and I've got some techniques that will really speed up your learning curve as well. So you click the link that I've just put there. Nice little plug. Okay. That's cool. Really old school 808 hat sound, open hat. I'll choose one voice because we don't want them overlapping. Take release right down. So I'm really controlling it by drawing it in. And then I'll just draw in a couple. And keep it quiet. So it's just to add some extra little bit of rhythm and you could, you know, filter out the low end, make sure that's all good if you were mixing as you go, which I tend to do this a little bit. And now we need a bit of interest in these drums in terms of effect. So this is where you want to get loads of weird psychedelic sounds. Uh, I'll just call the channel FX and color it bright green. And now I'm going to just go in and listen to some crazy samples. So let's go into effects, synth effects labs. Like stuff like that, basically. But maybe I should do this actually after I've put the main parts of the track in. So we've still got the arpeggio to do. I've got some crazy stuff to show you actually for that. So we'll we'll get on to that next actually. It's insane. And I'm going to add one little extra. Actually, I won't know. That'll do for now. I said we do something with the toms. What I'm going to do for that is simply group them all together, select them all, press group. And that is so I can control them with one control here. See? I can control the volume. But what's more, I can put on an EQ at the end of that group and then control the EQ of all the toms together because there's too much low end there. That's better. And we can add some reverb. Oh, we're getting there already. I'm not so sure about this bloop. Um, but I'll leave it there for the time being. OK, this this is insane, guys. Now we are going to get onto the vocal hook and it doesn't need to be a vocal hook, could be an arpeggio. But let me know what you think so far, guys. Give me a hell yeah if you're digging this in the comments below. I need to know if you want me to make another one. Let me know the genre that you want me to cover because I will pick the most voted for and I will make a tutorial on that. Awesome. Let's crack on with it. Next is I'm going to make this vocal myself. I'm going to make this vocal rhythm. OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an audio channel and my mics all linked up and everything so I can control. Uh, um, I can sing into it and we're looking for something just rhythmic here. But this is quite a fast tempo to sing along to. I say sing. I use that phrase quite wrongly, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tempo down to 100. And then I'm going to record something 
that comes to my mind and this is what I like to record because I like making music why don't you like making music too that's rubbish I'm going to try again but you get the idea this is how I make my music because I like to make music that you like music too because music makes you happy 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 music 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 happy <laughs> okay I'm gonna just one bit was slightly out of time that happy music makes you music that you like music happy music makes you so because i slowed it down you got to hear my singing in full sorry i actually think that's technically called rapping and you heard it in its full glory but now i can speed it up to 138 again and you know i'll consolidate that it doesn't matter that you can't hear what i'm saying because we're just really using it for the rhythm so this is how I make my music, because I like to make music that you like. Music, happy music makes you happy. Happy, happy music, 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 happy. That's a new hit, mate, right there. Okay, <laughs> I'll take out the low end. This is how I make music, because I like to make music that you like. Music, and this is where the magic begins, guys. So I'm just going to create a new track. I'm going to call it Carrier. And we are going to vocode this. And the carrier signal is what will be um giving the tone and it's kind of going to make the synth sing my rap if you will so i'm just going to call that carrier and i'm going to use what synth shall i use well it has to be an ableton one because i said so because i said i'd do it all in ableton so let's find an interesting sound in the wavetable i'm not going to spend ages on this i'm just going to all synth rhythmic That's kind of cheating. This is a cardinal sin of EDM right here. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use one that. Okay, this is cool. Now what I'm going to do is turn it down. <laughs> and now what happens when I put a vocoder on our vocal if you can call it that. So I'm going to choose external input and I'm going to choose the audio from the carrier. And now when we play this, I'm just solo these two and I'll make sure that there's no audio coming out the carrier. So I'll set it to sends only so we can only hear it via the vocoder. And I'm going to be hitting A because that's the key of our track. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Music makes you happy, happy, happy music, 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 happy. This is how I make my music. So I you like can hear it's kind music. of making the synth sing. Now I'm going to turn the synth down a bit because it's, um, it's, it's too loud. It's distorting. And the way I'm going to do that is just here we go, rap play. So I'm just going to play with some of the controls on the vocoder. And I'm going to tap in a rhythm as the drums are playing. Ready? I'm going to record this. Okay, let's just quantize that. I might choose a different synth actually. That one's not really not really doing what I want in terms of tone. So I'm just going to kind of try some other ones. Okay, try a different one. Almost there, guys. Okay, I want to change the rhythm up a tiny bit. Okay, 
I know it sounds gash at the moment, but give me a chance and I will show you how we are gonna warp this sound to crazy side trancyness. First, let's get some compression on there just to tighten up all the transients. <laughs> It doesn't actually sound like it's in the same key quite, does it? So we can we can change the That's a bit better. Okay, now let's continue with this chain. We don't need vocoder um anymore so we're just going to minimize it it's still working but it's just minimized and i'm going to compress after the vocoder too because that's the vocoded signal and the dry signal being compressed together Okay, now let's continue with this chain. We need to get this like blowing our minds because that's part of this trance sound. First, we are going to use a flanger. I put the EQ after that. Bit of clipping there, so I'm just turning it down. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to group that flanger, create a chain, and that's a dry chain, so it's got no flange on it. Stop it. And uh, now I can mix the dry signal in with the wet signal if I want. And I might not want to, but I've got the option now. And now I can process this flanger differently from the uh, dry signal. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just go into... Let's see, performance and modulation and rhythm. Some of these audio effects racks that come with Ableton, and I'm just gonna, um, actually, no, I won't do that. I'm going to use the beat repeater. Oh, I haven't used that for a while. Uh, and I'm gonna experiment with some of the effects. The presets. And after that, I'm going to put one of these audio effect rats, the modulation and rhythm, and I'm just going to put that over the whole, so the dry and the wet. We're really messing this vocal up, and we want to make it crazy and rhythmic, and let's see what comes of playing with some of these. drag and drop some. Okay, next is incidental vocals. So this is Goa trance, it's side trance. It originates from, well, I don't know if it originates from India, but it's certainly where the scene started. I don't know who the first producers of it were, but we are gonna just group those together, the carrier and the vocal, because then we can just adjust the volume as needs be. Vocauda. could even put some kind of crazy delay on there, but I won't spend any more time on that yet. Incidental vocal. So I'm gonna add a kind of Indian vocal. And the way I did this, again, 
this was really quick. I went on to Splice. I know that Kashmir kind of makes Indian style stuff in some of his tunes. So I searched for Kashmir, then I searched for female vocal, Bosch, and I found one within like a minute. But the only thing I found was it's in F minor, not A minor. And our track is in A minor. So I'm just going to drag it in. And this is, as I said, in F minor. But F is one, two, three, four semitones below A. So it's easy. All I have to do, make sure I've got warp turned on, and then go one, two, three, four semitones up. And now it's in A. So what we need to do is get a bit of EQ on there and then a bit of compression and then a shit ton of reverb. Okay, compressor, simple, simple. As I said, I would mix this more. This is pretty quick. I'm just doing it as fast as I can so you guys get as much benefit of it from this as you can. Let's put some of that whole reverb on. Cool. cool. Okay, let's bring this out into a bit of let's bring this out into a tiny bit of arrangement. So I'm gonna drag this, because this is kind of when everything's going on the go, if you will. So I'll drag it there. I'll add some more stuff, don't worry. But let's get a bit of arrangement out first. I'm just going to do two, two little bits. So let's say you've got the bit where there's less going on. Mm, could be this bit. No, no. Cool, OK, yeah, that's, that's a nice little groove there. So I'm just going to add some more space there. Copy and paste this. Yeah, OK, I know what we need some kind of effects to fill this out a bit. So I'm going to do a bit of a big bang. Boom, crash, crash. That's cool. Not too much bass in it. some reverb. Oh, I know this is a bit naughty, really. I am going to add a bit of a horn. I've got I'm going to get the horn on like in uh, the last track I did in the last tutorial, which you can check out there or there. And that is my kind of Fisher type horn. I load up splice. It's quite close because I used it Ah, here we go, C. So this is in C, which is one, two, three semitones above A. So all I'm going to do is make sure that warp is turned on, get Complex Pro, go down by three semitones. Whoops, down by three. And now let's have a listen. Yeah, OK. Let's get rid of some of those low frequencies. Let's have a listen. And I'll turn it down because it's kind of clipping a bit in the EQ. And we want to have a big fat delay on there as well, just to kind of keep it going. So all I'll do is I'll get some of the low frequencies out on the delay, switch it to ping pong. One, two, three. Perfect. And now I'm going to automate this dry wet knob on. So it's just the end I, I have delayed. Like that. So it's nice and big. And it's important we take out some of the low end so it doesn't mess with our base. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna do this a quick change actually. Let's 
Just have a really short break and I'm going to bring in this crazy sound. There's something not quite right with that in terms of the rhythm and I suspect it's these effects I've put on so I'll, I'll turn. Cool, okay, this is gonna be good. Now we just need a riser, so let's stick a riser in there. Uh, sweeps, sweep up. Um, let's stick this one in. And let's have a listen. Cool, okay, right. And then we're about to have a listen to this. Yeah, um, I'm just going to repeat the first half of it, uh, the vocals, I mean. And I'll do the crash there as well. And I might, just to keep things a bit more pumping, I will sidechain this from the kick. It's going to be a bit... Just to cut out those vocals when the kick's hitting. I do lots of work on those vocals, but that just shows that you can create a rhythmic kind of arpeggio sound from pretty much anything. All right, okay, almost there. Let's just duplicate that, take off the Big Bang, take off the woman singing, uh, and then tweak the mix a tiny bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the mix here is, first we'll cut out the low ends where it's not needed, and then we're gonna bus some stuff together. So I'm gonna go into my drums, and just filter out the low end on the hat. That's pretty much it guys. I might put the kick and the bass together. Sorry, the kick and the bass. In fact, I'll group the sub bass and the bass together. Bass, and then I'll group the kick and those basses together. If you're not using Ableton, you can just use a bus. Uh, let's call it kick and bass. You know, you wouldn't group them, you bus them. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of saturation on them to make them even bigger. And similarly, I'm going to uh, put all the drums together, not those effects, get out the way effects, all the drums, including those incidental effects, so those little bloops and whatnot, and I'm going to saturate those as well. That's pretty heavy. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Psytrance tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. You can download the project files for free below this video and let me know in the comments what do you want me to cover, which genre of dance music do you want me to cover in a tutorial. Let me know in the comments and the one with the most votes will win. Until then, thanks for watching, cheers and happy producing.